hey check this out I just found this item on Walmart for 2 2016 free delivery and it also sells on Amazon here it is the same item for three hundred twelve dollars and forty nine cents and look it has great ratings up top now even though the estimated sales are only one each two months I can tell you from experience I've listed plenty of products that say one each two months and then they actually end up selling several times a month especially if you lower the price which actually increases your sales now let's take a look at this Amazon dropshipping calculator I created where you can actually see that the profit you can make from this and this is with the 10% tax added on which is very high you can make twenty three dollars forty four cents profit from this one item from one order and that's before I even add in cash back but you can actually increase your profit even more with cash back and guys the thing is I gotta show you the software that I use to find this item because I did not find this item I wish I could take credit for it but I can't it's the software which finds items for you incredibly fast finds the match for the item on Walmart and on Amazon and so guys you've got to check the software out you need the software if you're drop shipping from Walmart to Amazon the way it works is you go to walmart.com and from walmart.com you pull up a product page you can either search for a product or you can just go to a particular category of product in this case I actually typed in side tables so I'm going to type side tables or enter side tables and click search okay and this will pull up um, a whole page of side tables at this point you simply click on the Chrome extension for the software and that will pull up these results I'll just give you a quick breakdown of what it's doing this is the link to the item on Walmart this is the link to the item on Amazon this is the price of the item on Walmart this is the buy box price if there's a buy box on Amazon if not um, or either way it's going to give you the price of an FBA seller there's no FBA seller and then it will give you the FBM sellers price and then it will give you the approximate profit sometimes the profit is negative not every item on Walmart is profitable many are not but that's why the software is so great um, is because it's going to sort out for you which ones have are profitable and which are not so here's one that is profitable now um, one thing I need to point out about this is it has some settings here I'm gonna click on it which are very simple if you are a fulfilled by Amazon seller or if you also do FBA I do both on Amazon then you may want to click this off and only do the FBA but if you're drop shipping you might just want the FBM fulfilled by merchant so you can just look at the FBM sellers right if you sell on Walmart then you would use this right but in this video I'm focusing on Amazon drop shipping okay but from Walmart so you're gonna go ahead and select that and I'm going to apply it but the thing is I'm gonna to have to close this and reopen it click on the Chrome extension a second time to open this back up and okay so now it's only giving you the first 10 results um, which is fine but you know what I would rather get all of the results together so I'm gonna click you click on extract all I know I did it kinda of fast but once you click that extract all button it will extract all of the results that are on this page so I want you to really appreciate what this program is doing because think about it normally if you wanted to check all the items on this page you would have to go through to each product one by one even if you take the brand and you search it on Amazon you still have to go through the Amazon results and check each product as well to see if you can find the source on Walmart and to see if you're gonna make a profit right so this is much faster um, and once you have your results all right you have all these results 151 products in here okay what I suggest is you then go to the profit button and just click on profit and what this will do is sort the results and descend in order so now the most profitable product will appear first okay at the top so once you have this complete list of products and you have sorted the profit now you need to go ahead and check these products individually and see what's going on with them now I can already see one problem with these is that they, they have changed the picture so you can see here's the original on Walmart and then here's the product on Amazon so you have to be careful for this where someone has modified the listing and now it's two items instead of just one 
so that's not going to work okay so you you can't use this one and I happen to know that this second listing is the same way you can kind of see it a little bit in here but this third one however should work out I'm gonna go ahead and click it click the link on Walmart here's the item on Walmart and now I will click the link for the item on Amazon okay now what I see here is that if I look at the item on Walmart I see that the top is open on this and that it is a design by Ashley right signature design by Ashley that's the brand it's a chair side end table and then I compare it to Amazon I see the title is basically the same it's the same brand signature signature design by Ashley okay chair side end table right now I don't see that the top opens however you will see that if you move over to the fourth picture in fact you will see that this fourth picture is exactly the same as the picture on Walmart I mean they're identical um, however I'm I always try to be very thorough with this and make sure that the dimensions are similar and all of that um, if you have a model number um, such as what you can see down here on Amazon you see you have a model number T752-7 um, that's always helpful you can often find that on um, the product page as well I'm not really doing all of that detail in this particular video I'm just showing you the software mainly but you can always go through and see but here actually the, here's the manufacturer part number T752-7 so you can see that these are both exactly the same product same model number same brand same pictures same everything okay now um, something you actually might want to check before you do all of that is to make sure that you can even sell the thing right so if you scroll down you'll find the sell on Amazon button and once you click on that button okay if the screen comes up it means that yes you can sell the item all you have to do is create go ahead and create your SKU and your um, price and all of that um, I'm not actually listing it right now I'm just showing you the product and so now the other thing I need to do is to make sure that the product is profitable and that brings you or at least try to measure the, the profit and that brings you to a tool I created which is an Amazon dropship and profit calculator and um, I actually closed the Amazon link let me open it back up okay and let me show you how this works so the first thing you do is you put in the actual price of the item per unit and as you can see on Walmart the price of the item is two hundred twenty dollars sixteen cents and it's free delivery so in the calculator I will put 220.16 and it is one unit meaning you're buying one at a time it's not a two-pack so it's one unit so the subtotal is 220.16 shipping is zero you can leave it blank percent tax um, if you hey if you're tax exempt then your tax is zero of course but um, if you do pay tax you want to put a number I'm usually I ex like to exaggerate my tax a lot and put 10% which is like probably the worst case all right um, so that I can really get an idea of the potential cost so that's 242.18 and once you have the Amazon fee which is generally 15% for most products it can vary in other categories you can check the um, Amazon seller fee uh, link all right which I'll have to place on this calculator somewhere or in the video for you and they'll break down the fees for you and here's the break-even price based on the fees and the cost which is 284.91 okay now the price on Amazon is the next step look at that the price on Amazon is three hundred twelve dollars forty nine cents the price that appears here which is probably the lowest which is why it's there and my calculator will tell you that it is above break-even okay so you are above the break-even price not below it which is good you want to be above break-even right um, the fees are 4687 you see how high the fees are um, your initial profit is twenty three dollars and forty four cents not bad seven and a half percent margin and nine point six eight percent markup which is the same thing as ROI return on investment this is actually a pretty good profit at this price imagine if you have cash back then you're going to make even more if you have pot five percent cash back if you have one of those nice five percent back Walmart cards right you're getting even more right in cash back or even if you don't have that 
you can use um, for instance uh, a portal I can show you one portal shop smarter that gives you 10% back on all your purchases at Walmart all your purchases at Walmart so if I click Walmart 10% cash back I'll prove it to you I'll click on Walmart as you can see get 10% cash back at Walmart shop now however this is only if you're in the US and it costs ten dollars a month approximately you have to enroll ten dollars a month but with all the cash back you make you can make a lot of money and um, they mail you a check so you have to have a bill and address so you can only have one account per bill and address okay um, now anyway back to the calculator but even if you don't have that that's okay you still can make some money right but I'm just saying if you do have that 10% cash back wow twenty two dollars and two cents just from this portal right that's a lot of cash back okay so that's that's a lot of extra profit your total profit will be forty five dollars okay so this is obviously profitable at this price right and as you can see I found that in minutes and all I had to do was pull the results with the Chrome extension sort it from profit high to profit low and there you have it right I already found one that is quite profitable right I'm actually uh, I could have kept that one to myself right to sell that item for myself but here's the thing um, I want you to I want to help you I want you to see um, how you can find profitable products and um, now here's the thing if you're using software it's gonna give you these kind of ratings like estimated units per month one each two months um, you also have the BSR if you don't have software um, you see the BSR is very you see it's two million right generally in the Amazon world they teach you you want a BSR that is less than or equal to 250,000 right uh, less than 250,000 you want smaller numbers right uh, but here's the thing from my experience as somebody who has started doing this in the past two years um, I have jumped on listings that said one each two months and I have sold the item several times a month so um, don't be always misled by um, what it says because it also depends on the price okay so actually if you just bring down the price on the item if you just bring the price down that's gonna make a huge difference okay it's gonna increase the sales so my point is that if you're already making this profit um, at this price well you can bring the price down even more right you can make this two ninety nine ninety nine okay you're not gonna make as much money but your sales will probably or not probably your sales will go up so instead of it being one each two months maybe you can sell this you know twice a month or something like that right it will change it will sell more often so um, don't be totally discouraged um, by the estimated units okay sometimes it's you know it's actually gonna sell more than what it says okay so I just wanted you to know that you can click here to see more details you know who's selling it and things like that okay but the point is you can get in here cheaper um, which gives you a chance to um, pull some sales out of this right okay so uh, that's basically how it works um, the only other thing I might like to talk about here is the fact that you can try to increase your profit um, in some other ways I showed you the shop smarter 10% um, cashback site um, which is ten dollars a month uh, for those in the US um, such as myself um, but there's also rake it in okay um, they don't unfortunately offer cashback right now at Walmart however what you can do is this uh, you can go on to raise and raise allows you to buy discounted gift cards and what this does is if you look up Walmart on here okay uh, this site is giving you discounted gift cards okay 0.9% off 0.6% off so you're getting a $54 gift card but you're only paying you know but you're you're or rather sorry you're getting a $54 47 cents gift card but you're only paying fifty four dollars for it right so you're getting a discount but what you can do to even earn more money is you um, sign up on this I have links in the description of the video sign up on all this stuff 
And what you do, this is a nice trick, you sign up on Rake It In also. By the way, these are both free. Okay, you don't pay anything to use these sites. You go into Rake It In and you type in Raise. Okay, this is really cool. You type in Raise and there you have it, Raise.com. 1% cash back on all your purchases at Raise. Then you click on this Raise, Shop Now. Make sure you are already signed into your Raise account. This is a very, very important detail. Make sure you're already signed in ahead of time. Okay, before you do this. And then make sure you do the purchase inside of this window, not this one from before. I'm gonna close that. Make sure you search for your card in here and do everything right inside of this window. Okay, you add it to your cart. You're gonna check out. Make sure you already added your payment method. Do all that stuff ahead of time so that when you go to rake it in and you then you go to raise, everything's already set up. All you have to do is type in Walmart, pull it up. So what's gonna happen is if you buy this gift card, okay, and you get 0.9% off, you're also getting 1% over here. So 1% and 0.9, 1.9%, that's like 2%. So it's like you're getting a 2% discount when you make your purchases on Walmart using the uh, discounted gift card, right? Because you got 1% and you got 0.9%. Okay, so these are different ways that you can try to then increase your profit, which means if I wasn't getting this, uh, then I would do that. Okay, now if you're getting uh, this, if you're getting, if you're using this, you cannot do the gift card and this with Walmart. Okay, I, I know, I tried. They don't give you the 10% here if you use a gift card uh, over here on Walmart. Okay, so if you so if you're using 10% cash back, that's all you're gonna get. But it's 10%. Okay, it's a lot of cash back. So um, that's basically those are your choices, right? So if you can do the 10% cash back um, plan for $10 a month, you get a check. You get a check every 30 days. They mail the check to you. Then do that. Um, but if not, you can do raise, sign up through the link in the description of the video. They're gonna give you some kind of credit for signing up through the link. Um, and rake it in is the same thing. If you sign up through the link, you'll get some kind of automatic credit, um, which means actual money, like cash back, that you didn't have to do anything to do it except sign up. And once you make your first purchase on rake it in, you will get, um, you'll get a reward for that, for signing up through the, through the link. All right, and so those are basically your choices. And uh, that's basically it. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I won't say much more, um, except that I have a link to the software as well in the description of this video. Go ahead, click the link. But look, it's very important that you use the email address that you actually plan to use with the software, okay? They're giving you a free trial, okay? And then uh, they don't collect any billing information when you do it. So you don't have to worry about them just charging you or anything like that. You're just gonna sign up and just try it out for free for seven days. If after seven days you feel like, man, I gotta have the software, then you go ahead and give them your billing, all right? So just go ahead, use the same email. I recommend whatever email you use to drop ship, use that same email to sign up on softwares. That's what I do. Also use that same email, okay, um, you know, for raise and for uh, your rake it in and, you know, unless you already have it, but, you know, just use the same email address so that you have, it's just organizationally a little easier, but if you use different emails, that's okay too. But um, my suggestion is if whatever email you plan to really use seriously with drop shipping, use that email to sign up with the software. And then after seven days, if you're willing to pay for it and you want to keep it, then you enter your bill and information. If not, you just go about your business and, and forget about it. So um, that's all up to you. Any comments, suggestions, or questions, please leave it in at the bottom of the video. Let me know what you think about this or anything else with uh, Amazon dropshipping. This is Mr. Mark, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks for watching.